Hey guys, this is Amal from Tech Leather Craft. In this video, I want to show you a custom leather sheath I made for an Openel number no. 8 knife and one of the custom mods I added to it. Mm -hmm. I actually have a video on my YouTube channel showing how to make a leather sheath, a leather holder. It's actually for like a Leatherman design, more of a rectangle, but the principle is still the same. You're still going to be wet forming. Now in this case, it is a little bit more difficult, a little bit more tricky because you're wet forming like a cylinder shape. And then one of the things I'll point out is that the Openel does vary in how it's shaped. So you'll see here that it is wider, kind of in the middle, and it tapers down just slightly uh, as you get to this this end over here. So be aware when you're wet forming this. Uh, now if you're making a version of this where you don't want the flap, that actually works out fine because the curve, and as it gets tighter like right here, uh, that actually works out fine because it will keep the knife from falling out. So just be aware if you're making this to leave a little bit more tolerance in the top section so that the blade is not as hard to pull it in and out. Now of course over time that will break in. So a couple other modifications or changes to I'll point out. With something set with such a narrow profile, you don't want the flap to be really uh, wide. And so that's why I've tapered it down. One of the things I've noticed, this is less of an issue with something like a Leatherman where it's a very rectangular build and it's very flat. You don't want uh, the flap getting caught as you walk by something. I noticed this and this will depend a little bit on your waist and how you carry the knife but as you walk by something you don't want the flap be sticking out and it will catch something so that's why I'm doing this tapering effect here because you don't want it to be catching on like chairs or or you know doorways or whatever. The thing is this elastic this is a two inch heavy duty knitted elastic and I designed it to fit the Fisher Space Pen now, if you're going to be carrying the fire steel, it will depend a little bit on, you know, the thickness of your fire steel. This is probably, I think, the 5 uh, thickness. It still fits in there. It's a little loose. If you're worried about it, you can put something like a lanyard. Uh, but if you're making this for the fire steel, just, you know, be aware that the elastic should be a little bit tighter. Now, you could leave it loose. One thing you could do is wrap some tissue paper or some flammable paper material, some kind of a kindling that you want to use. You could wrap that around the fire steel and then get it shoved in there and that will create more friction so you won't have to worry about you know this falling in and out but uh, this was designed specifically for the Fisher Space Pen and with that thickness that's actually really tight but if you're worried about it you can just make sure the clip uh, clips on the outside and the last mod I will mention is that you do want to line the leather now this is a brand new open on number eight that I bought for myself specifically for this project uh, you can see that it's kind of a worn away right here and the reason is as I was testing out different styles of sheath one of the things is that the metal snap here uh, was scratching it right because it's curving in this kind of funky angle uh, the metal itself you know sat at, a, at in an awkward way and so uh, a couple tips is you want to kind of try to curve this snap a little bit just slightly not too much because otherwise you'll you'll mess up the, the integrity of the snap but and then what I ended up doing, and you, you probably won't be able to see it, but is I actually put a really thin layer of veg tan tooling leather as a liner. And it actually runs uh, from the top edge all the way down to like right here. And that's glued in there with barge cement, so you shouldn't have to worry about it. So, And that prevents uh, the this metal snap from scratching it. Now it does make a little bit of a tight fit because I did wet form it initially without it so uh, there was a little bit of a there's a little bit more of a tightness to it than initially planned but it still works out pretty fine and of course over time leather does kind of conform and it it will uh, form and mold to the shape as you get used to it so I just want to show you one of my recent custom projects I appreciate the customer from custom ordering it is a really fun knife and I'm, uh, I'm glad I was able to buy it for this project. Uh, I don't do very many custom projects. I may be adding this to the website uh, as an option, like a plain one and then a version with or without elastic. If you're interested in ordering, you can go check out my website. I'll probably be adding this uh, sooner or later. If it's not on my website, you can always shoot me an email or contact me using the contact form on my website. Thanks for watching guys. If you're interested in tech, leathercraft, EDC and multi-tool stuff, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I'll have more stuff coming up soon. And if you're interested, go check out my Instagram and Facebook page. I also have a Twitter. All right, thank you for watching. Take care.